Fortnite Season 3 is closer than everybody likes to think, with us obviously being 60% way plus through Chapter 3 Season 2 as a whole, with this season set to end according to the Battle Pass on June 3rd, 2022, as we're only expecting one more update to be released this season being version 20.40 set to occur on May 17th, 2022, and with data miners being able to determine this very early on alongside the fact we're going to be getting 5 downtime updates next season, it goes without saying now that Epic Games literally have Chapter 3 Season 3 ready, and for that reason in today's video we're not only going to be discussing how we're getting to season 3 now, what's going to be happening in terms of the map changes, putting us into a live event which then leads directly into the chapter 3 season 3 trailer, but also the skins and characters that are going to be involved and ultimately what's going to be happening. Of course, like always, make sure you stick around until the end of the video as then and only then will the trailer we're going to be showing actually make sense. Whilst you're doing that, perhaps sat back relaxing with your favourite snacks, one favour you can do me considering it's also 100% free to do is enter code FM1 inside the Fortnite item shop right now. You guys already know this not only put a giant smile on my face, but cheers up my pug Gus too, who's been kind of sad about the fact he knows that 70% of all eyes watching right now are not subscribed. With that said, hit the big red button right now as we're on our final push to 2.5 million or 2.5 million subscribers, and after all, it only benefits you as I do give different subscribers every single day. So if you ever want to receive something, simply make sure you subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on, and then comment your Epic Games ID down below and let me know what you'd like to receive, so perhaps you could be gifted like this on screen in front of hundreds of thousands of eyes to see in the next video. But with with that said, now there's no more time to waste, we've got a ton of Season 3 leaks, intel and info to go over, so make sure of course you don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'm not, I'm sitting on my don't go anywhere. Okay, so to start out with, as you guys can see right now, this is an overview of the Chapter 3 Season 2 Island, once Chapter 3 Season 2 begun in itself, when we got introduced to Dr. Sloan disabling builds for the first time in Fortnite Battle Royale history, which was only temporary, as we now have the choice obviously between Zero Build and Normal Game Modes. And if we compare this overview of the island until now, as you guys will be able to tell the difference that has been made in storyline or map change development is that these seven have been fighting back against the imagined order, obviously controlling certain areas with blimps above by taking over these locations and us helping in mini live events that we can partake in to aid the seven in game individually every time we drop in. And with many of the blimps now, such as the first one being at the Daily Bugle crashing into the water, the same at Condo Canyon, and also the same at Coney Crossroads and Rocky Reels, what's set to crash next is the blimp obviously above Tilted Towers at the time of me recording this video when we're in our second second to last stage of the seven pushing back the imagined order to not only their primary base of operation that they set up last season originally being covert cavern but now it's command cavern obviously the differences will have been shown on screen and of course with this making sense to be the last point or fight that the imagined order are able to hold up against the seven actually taking a location over the other area that people are curious or inquisitive about this red ring residing over still is well that's not named on the map loot lake despite loot lake playing a big part in chapter one obviously for those that don't no, it had the zero point or the vault containing the zero point underneath once excavators dug it out and then with us entering it for the first time in itself revealed to the zero point that we didn't know back then was this orb in chapter 1 season 8 unvaulting event. If you don't remember that event, perhaps the season after where literally the mecha team leader pulled the zero point out of the vault which was harnessed in terms of its power by singularity controlling this robot in itself to defeat the polar pink monster. And without getting too off track of course with this being left above the vault to destabilise and not put back in by the the paradigm or singularity being the same person which we now have confirmed thanks to this brand new glider actually implemented into the coding basically stating this in its description as you can see data miners have been able to determine the reason i needed to quickly recap the importance of loot lake and bring it to your guys attention is because if something's happened previously with loot lake being very important who's to say it won't happen now and we actually have proof that the live event could even be taking place over this region rather than command cavern don't get me wrong command cavern still holds many secrets such as well these giant vault doors adjacent to each other which many people speculate Clombos will be inside armoured up and ready to actually battle against the seven in the live event itself. However despite this being the case with it being determined early from people digging into the game's coding that Loot Lake will actually be where the next blimp crashes instead of into Tilted Towers causing it any further damage which is kind of strange in itself considering the blimp is unaffected yet Tilted Towers in the outskirts of it almost looks like it's been exploded, bombed or blown up. Of course with this being a very early look of what the blimp crash site will look like and you guys will be able to see it in game or perhaps it is when you're watching this video, taking a look back at my previous uploads. This is not the only importance of Loot Lake, the final blimp crashing before the one at Command Cavern is attempted to be taken over. As data miners in the updates 20.20 and 20.30 were not only able to determine from Jones's voice lines that the imagined order are working on a doomsday device, very similar to the one Midas constructed and used in the device live event literally this time last chapter in Chapter 2 Season 2, but with furthermore hotfixes and updates passing, they've also been able to determine that Jones 
Jones has requested that we set up cameras around Loot Lake to get intel on this iOS Doomsday device in itself, which is leading us to believe that the zero point is directly underneath Loot Lake. As you guys know, the device event took place directly above where the zero point resided underneath the Chapter 2 island in itself, and thanks to the Fortnite X Marvel Zero War comics, with the plot being revealed that both sides, the Seven and the Imagined Order, are venturing around the island and even into the Marvel Universe to try and find the turning tide factor of this battle being an elusive Zero Shard. With this obviously being a fragment of the Zero Point itself, of course we know the Zero Point is going to have a big part to play. Unlike the IO's Doomsday device, it may not be directly involved in this live event, however, with these comic books releasing Fortnite x Marvel Zero War after Chapter 3 Season 3 starts, with us also knowing that the updates are scheduled, or known of right now, 5 downtime updates in total, we definitely know Epic Games have foresight as to not only how this season ends and then the trailer showing what's next season, but also the ending of next season. For those still unsure now what's going to be happening in the final, well, less than a month period on the lead up to Chapter 3 Season 3, there's definitely going to be more live event developments and obviously we're going to end up in this final stage. However, this is going to last literally until the very last day when this IO Doomsday Device live event occurs, obviously putting us afterwards straight into downtime. After this downtime lifts, of course, we will be in Chapter 3 Season 3 and be introduced to the island for the first time in cinematic trailer form, which we're going to be revealing all the skins for in just a second, but speaking of skins, most particularly and downtime, in this update that's literally just happened 20.30 at the time of me recording, we actually got revealed to the final member of the Seven being one of the sisters, as you can see right here, called The Order. With this skin being displayed in many ways, whether it's from data miners leaking it into the locker early, them showing us, well, the preview of it before it comes into the item shop, the most interesting manner that's been leaked or revealed personally to me anyways was this loading screen, and rather so not the Order skin itself hiding from what seems to be Dr. Sloan, discussing her plans for what's going to be happening next in the Fortnite storyline with her allies. But speaking of Dr. Sloan, if we take a closer look of the hologram she's holding up, despite the one in the trailer obviously disabling our builds, it looks like this rather so is a creation of a new structure, which for those that don't know has large resemblance to, well, Darth Vader's fortress or castle looking like this, and despite Star Wars being integrated into Fortnite now with us soon expecting the Obi-Wan Kenobi skin, maybe again it is in the game at the time of you watching this video, believe it or not, inside sources have came out stating that Darth Vader will be a skin in next season. Of course, if this is the case, this is a huge collaboration and he will most likely, well, it's kind of 100% confirmed if he is upcoming to be involved then in the cinematic trailer. And with this Unreal Engine live stream or broadcast confirming it from having folders such as C3S3 Vader and also C3S3 Jones being another collaboration, not meaning Agent John Jones, rather so Indiana Jones. As data miners have also said previously, this has been a collaboration that Epic Games have been working on integrating for so long now, Fortnite x Indiana Jones in itself. It's very possible that we not only see these two characters involved in the next cinematic trailer battle pass, but we get mythics surrounding both of them, perhaps Vader's lightsaber, and also even Indiana Jones's whip. And despite these being brand new characters, of course, we can't dismiss what may be returning a character we deem to be dead, Midas, which Donald must have confirmed in this Twitter video, well, he's not, not dead. dead. With, of course, us knowing he has the capability or engineering skill to actually construct and then even navigate a doomsday device like the one the IO are making now. With it being confirmed he's not dead despite getting eaten by a shark and coming back in the Chapter 2 Season 4 Halloween event as a ghost, it's more than likely Midas could not only be returning for the live event and perhaps even be involved then as another battle commencing between the Imagined Order and the Seven in the Chapter 3 Season 3 trailer, but he may also have another style involved in this next battle pass. As you guys may or may not know, there's been these surveys flying around which have tons of skins implemented into the game offer, and if we take a closer look at the first two pages, as you can see, there's this version of Midas right here that we currently haven't seen in Fortnite, and despite these previous surveys containing a lot of concept skins that could perhaps even just be involved throughout the Chapter 3 Season 3 Battle Pass that we have no context toward being included throughout that as of now, Epic Games, believe it or not today, actually released a brand new survey full of more skins which is on screen right now, so there's a lot of possibilities of what could be making up this next Battle Pass out of the 7 or 8 outfits we're going to be seeing, and also then which ones are going to be involved in that cinematic trailer. But with all the context given today, you guys are now ready to view this short trailer of Chapter 3 Season 3, which I think is really cool. So before I stop talking, make sure to leave a like in this video if you enjoyed it or want to keep referring back to it, and subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on so that you don't miss any Chapter 3 Season 3 intel. But without any further ado, I present you this Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3 teaser trailer.